the biggest online campuses you can actually, or one of the on biggest online schools you can be a part of. So it's uh, it's fun to see. Wait, are they actually in the game? Oh, they're in the game. All right, never mind. So all that aside, we got no sound. We got no sound. All right, so this first game is going to be without sound because they're just going. Uh, so we got game one here. Uh, Paradox is streamlined. Oh, never mind. They're not going to do it. All right, all right they're, they're, they're doing it. They're doing it. We need to hear. We need. We need the sounds. What are they doing? Why are they, why, why are they doing all that? What's going? It's still off. It's still off. The sound's still off. The sound is still off. You gotta click Elgato. You gotta click HDMI. This is chaos. This is chaos, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to my nightmare of the week. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna redo this. Um, I'm gonna delete that. Redo the redo the predictions for everyone, because uh, some people weren't. Uh, while we were, while we were in the midst of the chaos, some people did not predict. So, uh, Travo slash Retro versus Streamline and Paradox. Boom. There you go. All right, you got two minutes to predict. Make sure you check it out. Gang, 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 from Gopo with the sub. Four months. Appreciate you, homie. All right, we got game number one here. I hope somebody uses that clip as a way to, um, uh, like, just take those sound bits and use that for, like, a stream notification. But we got game number one here. Uh, Retro and Chavo coming back into the mix. Uh, they were able to beat them last time. It was best of three at that time. And uh, Paradox and Streamline have been committed to playing this Marvin uh, and Stripe. And so far, it's working. As they get one, they almost get two. Looking to catch uh, Chavo out there. Eric, can you close the door for me real quick, please? Thank you. It's going to be pretty much a hot start. Uh, what we're seeing right now, of course, everybody's kind of going at it, looking for that dare to try and catch Marvin. Marvin does, Marvin has a pretty linear recovery, but good save from Paradox again coming in. There goes Chavo going for the up special as he catches him in the skies, but there's Stripe the answer right back. You get caught by one saw blade, you are asking for trouble. And look at Streamline. Streamline with the jungle game. He said he was going to play a lot of Marvin today. He's sure making it look good. I'd love to see it. Going in with the button strings, of course, that does combo into itself. Uh, you could also do things like Sarah button Sarah. That's a pretty normal combo string. Or you see side special aerial into button, drop down fast fall Sarah button Sarah, which is another combo. That's all true. Uh, Marvin is not bad anymore, just so y'all know. <laughs> Marvin's a good character now. Two up, one to lead. Uh, 104 sitting on the retro, so definitely not the e most comfortable position. Rain Dog, of course, fluffy boy, very big. Does get hit pretty often which is currently what's happening right now. You gotta be careful about covering over. If you are striped, getting underneath Rain Dog, not the best thing to do. Downer is gonna take him off the top. Up attack does take out Marvin pretty much here. Good dodge from Streamline getting away from Chavo. Meanwhile, Stripe, Paradox rushing over to get Retro, does not get him. Going to chase him now, has Bullet. Trying to get him on the dodge, does not cover him. Retro getting a lot of mileage out of this stock. Granted, getting sent very far there. Decides not to commit. I don't believe he, oh yeah, he was out of bullets. I had to take a look over at his bullet meter, which you can see, of course, on his cooldowns. We have both on the top and the bottom. Uh, that is a three stock deficit. Now taking no back to one. But that is a not great position for Rain Dog. That is going to be a stock. We have an even game. Free double up here onto Finn, but smartly Chavo dodging in back to the stage. Even if you get hit, it's okay to get volleyed on a combo rather than get spiked. They had a double spike ready to go, and that did not lead to happen. Oh my god, they're trying to go double vertical onto Streamline. Does not get it. Streamline going for the button strings. Try to catch him with that spike. Might have worked. Not going to get him though. I like how he's covering these dodges in with that Sarah. It's very good. And uh, Chavo showcasing as well. Exactly. He's still he's still got it in twos. But Retro in a bad spot. Getting chased. Good use of the side special to get out. Gets up underneath that up special from Paradox. Chainsaw coming through. Going to get ripped, but nothing really comes of it. You got to break that. You got to break that rocket. You have to break that rocket. You do not want that to be there. Almost got pulled into the rocket from the tether pull. Here goes the big spike. Double up. Not going to be a knockout on the Rain Dog. Retro sneaking his way back over to the side. That is going to be a KO off the top, though. They're able to get the job done. Everybody kind of laughing it off. That was incredibly intense again. But that's going to be Paradox and Streamline taking that first game. You see Retro and Chavo trying to figure out, what. okay, what happened? But to be honest, it was so close. Like, it was just a very close game. Part of it was uh, Retro is b being a big character. It's kind of hard to get away from the pressure that that team could put on you sometimes. I do like the fact that they were regularly breaking the rocket in the ship from uh, Marvin fast. You don't want to let that stay alive because uh, if you break the ship, it does get rid of it. I know a lot of people may not realize that because you never see Marvin anywhere. But I like what Paradox like uh, just did. He turned around and threw the, uh, he threw the saw blade immediately at Streamline. So he had a hitbox to cover him when he ran in. 
It's kind of like pseudo armor, if you will. It's just a hitbox, but like it's an active hitbox that stops anybody from doing anything. Like that just now, he did it again. Chavo currently getting juggled a bit. Meanwhile, Re uh, Retro does get back on. Kind of been kind of been having a difficult time getting out of some of these strings, but Chavo's always there to break up the combos. So it's been working pretty well. Try to get, oh, good save from Retro. Uh, that would have been an off special. Probably a Sarah Reed after that, but that tether stops that entirely. They got a big volley off the platform. Chavo trying to get another dare. Cannot find it, but off special coming through. There goes Chavo chasing all the way up to the skies. Doesn't find it. Missile is going to get, yeah, he's going to send it back. So you got to be careful about how you choose to recover. And because he had to go down, he does get away. They tried to shoot him back up into it with the up attack. Or the up airs, excuse me, to send it back in the missile. Doesn't find it, doesn't get the missile, but that was a very scary spot. One stock apiece, 119. Gets sent upward rather than outward. So uh, Paradox gets to hold on to it a little bit longer. Of course, that missile out of Tactic A and, or the, the projectile. Not much you could do about getting out of that situation. And, uh... What happened to Retro? I think Retro, did Retro just concede that stock? Did he just decide to go back in? Might have, just to avoid, uh, just to go help out Chavo. Sometimes, sometimes it's not bad to just go back in, to be honest. Chavo joined PFG clan. Ha <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, Chavo is in fact, a, uh, he is a, a PFG employee now, which uh, congratulations to him. Love to see it. Uh, well, and uh, you know, just love to see uh, like what this uh, what this local what this game has done for the players around here and a friend of mine. So I'm happy, and of course, I get to be involved with a lot of this too. But right now, 136 sitting on Chavo. Uh, basically, if you do anything ridiculous to him here, he's gonna he's gonna get it nerfed later. <laughs> but um, currently, 100 of damage sitting on uh, to uh, Marvin. Uh, not the most comfortable position, but they do have uh, two stocks. Uh, they do have one stock up, so right. <gasps> Ooh, that was one. Did they get striped next? This is 109 to 100. Is the difference between ga uh, two game lead or a one to one set? That will make a big difference, of course. Uh, as uh, as the ma as uh, the matches progress, you do not want to be behind 2-0. Uh, essentially, it gets a double zoner comp like this too. Chavo chasing down Marvin, trying to shut him down. But Streamlines Marvin has been looking pretty good considering he doesn't really play it often. But will not be a KO off the top for Stripe just yet. 126 and 129 respectively on each side. One mistake, and that's going to be the game. That puts them up 2-0 in the lead. Intense game number two there. Everybody laughing it off. Streamline is always having a hilarious time. Meanwhile, Chavo and Retro, you see, they're like, man, I don't know what to do. Hey, stop leaning so far back on that chair. Um, but <laughs> we got... The third game going on here, and uh, I gotta go into dad mode to yell at people who are sitting too far back in chairs, and I don't wanna see them fall over. Uh, we, we got uh, Paradox and Streamline up 2 0 at the moment. Then uh, this is cool too because, like, again, Chavo and Retro were able to win earlier. This is the first time they've played uh, in a while. They were, they took a, uh, Retro was on a bit of a break, and also we don't really play twos too much around here prior to monthly events. But they looked good, and they were able to put these two in the loose side of bracket. But right now, Chavo and Retro looking at a 2-0 deficit. I'm gonna go pull. Say, hey, go pull you're so ridiculous, bro. Praying on praying on some paradoxes downfall. I can't. I can't with you, bro. <laughs> but uh, right now, uh, we got uh, also a bug. Uh, so uh, reminder too that if you win, you're locked into your characters. Uh, that's what that's a rule we apply because uh, I play FTC rules. Um, if you win, you are locked into those characters. So there's no counter picks that would happen for the blue team. Good chase trying to go for that Sair to get Retro. Retro out of resources. The Sawblade goes back at him again. He has to take that Sair because he was out of resources. That was a perfectly executed edge guard from the blue team. Their whole target focus is just all these active hitboxes and all these zoning projectiles just so good at getting in on someone like Raindog to stop him from being able to zone. Chavo doing his best to try and stay in and break a lot of that up. That active hitbox on that down attack is so good, though. Uh, it lingers forever, so even when Jericho tried to hit him with a down air, he got hit. 96. That stair won't be enough yet. Finn, surprisingly, still staying alive. Even with that weight nerf, uh, Chavo's been able to hold on quite a bit. Down air, oh, excuse me, down attack actually just rips him away at 50. So that's a huge stack, because now all of a sudden, because he got that early spike, even when Chavo falls here, that's going to be a significantly closer game. Staring at 111 and 92. That is a rocket, though, and he tried to jump over and stall, but he ended up getting hit by the rocket instead. And now 121 sitting on two Paradox, who's been super evasive. Up attack gets rid of him, though. Even gets Game. At the moment, very scary situation for all parties involved. Everybody is at even stocks. This is the difference between a 3L for Paradox and Streamline or a 
game four with Chavo and Retro. Coming through with that down attack. He's not going to be able to do much else after that. Goes for the up special. Trying to continue to chase. Can't really do too much past that point. And that's a rocket that's probably going to get sent back in. No, he decided not to really do anything with it. Uh, got hit by multiple in it. Chavo tried to reverse it with the stair. Retro's got to be careful too, but it's going to be Streamline who tries to drift in with the up attack or up air and does not get the drift in. So that's going to lead to a 2-1 set count in the game. Well done. Uh, right now, what was that? Uh, Ajax, what's the odds you could get the monthly for April to be the first week of the month? Entirely depends on my travel schedule. Let me uh, let me enlighten a lot of you who aren't aware of what I do. Um, I am a professional esports caster full time, so my job relies entirely on what events I'm hired for and where I'm going. So uh, I could say yes, but that could be a lie in two weeks. So like you never know what I. So I gotta. I, I won't. I can't deadlock anything right away. Uh, that said, though, I am working on getting more people who can run events when I'm not here because me being on the road does prevent a lot of events from happening. So we're working on it. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll inform you because I'll love to have you come down, Davis, if, that, if that's what you're trying to happen. Um, but ho more likely, it'll probably be around spring break week because that'll be where people are on vacation seeing family. We'll, we'll see. But right now, we got game number four here. Java Retro are able to get themselves on the board. Uh, two miscued recoveries from uh, Streamline. Well, excuse me, one of them was a down attack at 56. And that's going to be a down attack at 78. Paradox getting ripped out of his recovery. Uh, great job. Spring uh, spring break is first week of April for me. Ah, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, no, I'd love to have you come through if I could. Uh, 100%. I, want, I mean, I want everybody to, to be able to come through. And I can't wait to go to your future uh, lands too whenever y'all get them. Because I want to see them supported. And that's going to be uh, the support character, quote-unquote, getting knocked off the side. That's going to be a KO onto Retro. One sock apiece, 86 in 92, uh, 102 now. Marvin has got some sauce now. And even that, his active hitboxes are hard to hit. Uh, you can't really challenge him when he's doing what he's doing. Like, you got to let him rock. Uh, so even for someone like Finn, who has an incredible disjoint uh, with that sword, for anybody who doesn't know what a disjointed hitbox is, of course, that is when you have a hitbox... Uh, that is has no hurtbox attached to it. So like a sword that essentially just has its own active hitbox. So Cal, land by weekly. Oh, you do? Send me the stream link. Uh, and if you don't have a stream link, you should be streaming. And if you don't post VODs, tell them to talk to me because I will post VODs for you guys. I want, I'll, I'll, I do not mind helping. I do it for other uh, ones too. But unless you unless you already post the VODs, then show me the VODs too. I want to see the VODs. Right now, up special coming through. Retro doesn't even need to finish it out. This is going to be a KO. Retro sitting at 148. This is a three stock to one difference. The red team looking way better this time. Yeah, VODs on the community cap channel. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, link that to me as well. Uh, it, actually, DM it to me because I probably won't see it by the time we go to this, this later. That's two stocks. That's 133 sitting onto Finn. So one good mistake from even in this game up. And Retro, oh, here comes the missile back. He's got to be careful of how he recovers. Retro getting that down air onto Paradox to separate them. Up air will not be enough just yet. Streamline holding on forever onto that down air, though, to try and keep himself safe. Active hitbox is very strong. Up air, up attack won't be enough from Finn just yet. Chavo still refusing to get knocked out. Chavo's been living to 150 plus regularly. And that's going to be early KO, though, onto Retro. That is a huge difference maker now. They can't afford to let Chavo get hit. Chavo is sitting at 166. Rain Dog is sitting at 6. But if they could get a KO onto Marvin, that's basically their one main win con. You can see Marvin playing in the back. Chavo has to let Retro essentially take the lead. But the thing is, that's still your better hitbox character. So Chavo trying to rush in, trying to go for a high five. Does not find it. 108. That's going to be a Sear on the way out, though. And that's going to be Paradox and Streamline taking it there. 3 to 1. And that is going to send Chavo and Retro out of the bracket. Well done, though, for the uh, Paradox Streamline team. Switching it up, playing a very different team. This is not something we are ever used to seeing them play. They play Batman and Bugs Bunny normally. But they're out here playing Stripe and Marvin. And that team is looking kind of nasty. I'm not even going to lie. Uh, so, well done. Please replay the set. No. No. <laughs> so we're not doing that. All right. So we got uh, the next game coming.